Greetings, my friends. You know, one of my biggest pet peeves, actually my biggest pet peeve, are so-called Bible scholars, teachers, preachers, watchmen, average Joes, whoever they are, who preach false gospels, who take the Bible out of context, who try to make their own twisted uh, opinions and ideas match the Bible instead of vice versa. The Bible is supposed to match what anybody else says or thinks. Whether it's the great whore of Babylon, whether it's the future Antichrist, whether it's the tribulation and or the rapture, or it just goes on and on and on. Just so so many twisted, uh, confused, and uh, befuddling individuals out there. This is the title of today's video. Bad news for Bible scholars, scholars in parentheses on purpose, who believe and teach Iraq is the great whore of Babylon. This is a news uh, that just came out of Iraq, and then I'll talk about it some more. <clears throat> All the trees have died. Iraqis are facing intensifying water crisis. The streams and rivers running through Baghdad and elsewhere in Iraq are drying up, and now all the trees have also died. The farmers sub subsequently tried digging wells, but found the groundwater was too salty and not suitable for farming, and thus it killed all the rest of the trees and all their crops. Now, he he here's what's going on. Baghdad, Iraq, first of all, we could end the entire the discussion because it's not in the Bible. The Bible describes a great whore of Babylon and a specific group of scripture about eh, about maybe a couple dozen scripture, and those scripture do not match Baghdad, Iraq. They don't match it. They don't match Rome, Italy. They match one place and one place only, the place where Barack Hussein Obama lives, the former United States of America, now no Morica because it's no more. It's so perverted and, and twisted and backwards. Every single scripture in the Bible describing the Great War of Babylon matches the United States and no one else. No one else. And so the Bible itself already throws that out. But see, here's what I keep hearing. Oh, oh, Baghdad's getting ready to rebuild. And oh, yeah, there's getting ready to be a, uh, a big rebuilding in Baghdad. Yeah, and they're, and they're getting ready to, to make it uh, all pristine and great. And, and yeah, pl please, please, please. You might be selling. I'm not buying. I, I just don't want to hear it. I, I don't want to hear it. because. If you're going to rebuild a country, first of all, we don't have water, you can't rebuild. And to rebuild a country uh, in, in as bad a shape as Iraq is and Baghdad with all the wars that they've had and continue to have, it would take a, a decade or decades to rebuild. We don't have that much time anyways. It's not in the Bible to start with, but even if it was, there's no time to rebuild it. Can you imagine trying to rebuild this place after the imminent rapture happens? The tribulation begins and all hell breaks loose on the earth and you've got just terrifying nightmares everywhere trying to rebuild this tired old place. Baghdad, Iraq is not the great is not the great whore of Babylon. Rome, Italy is not the great whore of Babylon. The great whore is right here in the former America. And the United Nations is the great whore that sits upon many waters and tongues. All the people of the world are run by the by the UN. And you have to look at the Bible. Start with the Bible. If you always start the Bible, I told a friend of mine yesterday, if you always start the Bible, <clears throat> you can't go wrong. You start with the Bible, dig the scripture out, and say, okay, here's the scripture, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, however far it goes. All right, I've got all the scripture in front of me. Now, uh, is it possible it could be uh, Baghdad, Iraq? Go to the scripture. No, 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 it's not. Scripture says otherwise. Could it be Rome, Italy? Let's check scripture. No, no, it's not. Could it be United States? Wow. Every single scripture matches. I just don't get how people mislead the masses. I really don't get how so many gullible Christians follow them and listen to them, listen to all their j -j -j jive talking, telling them lies. It's just incredible to me. I just um, makes my brain hurt. My brain just 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 aches trying to to see the logic and the reason of Christians not following the Bible as their roadmap and not using the Bible, because I don't care what it is. You will never, ever, ever, you never have, you never will. You won't find me putting out a video that I cannot 100% back biblically. You won't see it. I haven't done it. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of videos over the last 15 years on social media. Not one. I can't back up with the Bible. My friends, the rapture is upon us, and we need to be preaching the truth to Christians, preachers, and watchmen like myself, both. I'm a preacher and a watchman. And teachers and, and so-called scholars. I don't like all these big terms like scholars because I'm the lowest, lowest of the lowly Christians. I, I, I don't want to be a scholar. 
any knowledge I have, any wisdom I have comes from Jesus Christ. And I give him all the glory and all the praise and all the honor always. I will never not give him the praise, honor, and glory. And I just want to keep being a lowly trench soldier, a foot soldier <coughs> who gets the word out. But please, Christians, including me as well, I've told you so many times, look up what I say in the Bible to make sure I'm telling the truth and, and not some skewed version of what someone has told you. Use your own eyes. Let the Holy Spirit speak to you and show you what the Bible says and get it right. And don't, don't take anyone at face value. Jesus Christ is our only hope, my friends. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in a box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. I love you all dearly so much. And look up true Christians. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you. Take care of yourselves. Make sure you share this video. Help me get the word out. Share my videos and sermons. I'm always being censored because of my faith in Jesus Christ. I love you. Take care. May God bless you. We fly soon. Bye.